shoot the shoot. It's definitely an episode. It's balls. It's balls. Now you can hear the new sound effect that I just put on my soundboard. Material, material girl. You look disappointed. I look disappointed? I think that's just my face. All right. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the... Oh, am I even on... Am I even on the screen? Yeah, I am, dude. Let me let me manspread real quick. Welcome back to the podcast, everybody. Uh, this is episode 237, dude. We're back, dude. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy fucking New Year, man. Uh, we are in it, bro. Where is the... I need a cheering crowd. Stat. We made it. We made it to another year, dude. We fucking made it, bro. Uh, and it's awesome. I, it's 2024. It's pretty pretty lit so far. Uh, yeah, dude. Thanks for tuning back in. We ended the year, dude. I kept saying this, man. I kept saying it, dude. I said, this podcast, we're going to get out of the flop era. We're, we're going to get out of it, okay? Because the last couple months, dude, <laughs> every podcast episode... And so I feel like a fucking loser uh, complaining about this, but because um, I do support, I do appreciate all the support of the podcast, like regardless. But um, <laughs> it was like it was it was it was a W if we got like a six of ten upload. Like it was it was most most upload was like a ten of ten, just flopping like crazy. But the last episode we did one of ten, bro, one of ten. So it feels friggin' good, dude. Um, what does that sound? Oh, right. I've missed this thing so much, man. Do we have the, where's my pit bull thing? Where did I put the pit? Oh. Life is not a waste of time and time is not a waste of life. So let's stop wasting time, get wasted and have the time of our lives. Hell yeah, pit bull. That's how I, that's what I said to, uh, everybody in my life. Uh, when I had that one of 10 podcast. So uh, we're back, dude. 237. Got a lot to talk about. We're hopping over to the uh, the bonus episode after this also. So if you're done listening to this episode and you want some more very, really good, go check out the Patreon. Check out the description or go to patreon.com slash very, really good. Um, dude, I got some shows coming up too. Sorry, I got to do some quick promo shit. I got some shows coming up. Uh, all new material, man. All new shit. Working on the new hour. I got a lot of stuff, so... It's going to be fun. It might be, it'll be good. It might be, uh, it might, you know, it'll be interesting. I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited with the new jokes. I'm going to be in, <clears throat> let me just check my website here. I'm going to be in Phoenix, Arizona from February 2nd to the 4th. And then I will be in Louisville, Kentucky from March 28th to the 30th. And then I will be in Appleton, Wisconsin from April 11th to the 13th. So go get tickets, click the link in the description or go to curtisconnor.com. Uh, one of the Appleton shows already sold out already, dude. It's fucking nuts. Um, but that's it so far. There's we're tickets are going quick, so don't sleep. Get uh get tickets. Go come see the new uh come see the new shit. It's gonna be fun. Um, yeah, bro. I haven't done a I haven't done a comedy club stint in a while, so I'm excited to get back. You know, get back in the clubs, dude. Where I can say whatever the hell I want, dude. Where I can where all this I can get away from, or I can finally get away from the woke mob. You know what I mean? Can't even say friggin' slurs anymore, dude. You can't say anything as a comedian anymore, man. But the clubs. That's where you can say it, dude. That was my impression of the Rogester, Joe Rogan. I think um, I think they should reboot Fear Factor, but one of the challenges is to sit through a whole episode of uh, of the Joe Rogan experience. That'd be funny, and it's like Joe, he and Joe Rogan still house it too. And he sits, he sits there watching it with you and he's like, this, they, check out this part. You got to watch this part. It's really funny. I say something really funny here. Jamie pulls up a really good clip here. It's really good. <clears throat> but yeah, man, I hope to see you at the shows. It's going to be a good time. Um, 
We uh, so happy New Year, everybody! Happy New Year! Hope it's uh, hope he was safe. Hope it was good. That's. I mean, okay. I was gonna complain about how people always say like, "Be safe, okay? Be safe." Like, what makes it so New Year's where everyone where everything is more dangerous? I guess everyone gets fucked up. Never mind. I got there. I figured it out. Um, happy New Year's. It was uh. Me and my wife Jenna, we went to uh, went to New York, went to New York City for uh, for New Year's. New Year City um, is what we called it, and it was uh, it was fun, dude. We went to this uh, we went to this party, went to this like fucking. It, it was it was cool. It was like this. Uh, it was in the upper floor of this building. It was like two floors, the top floor, and then like the rooftop balcony. It was pretty fire, dude. It was really fun. We had a good time. We danced. Um, but the shitty thing about this party was like, there was hell of people, like so many people and the bar, it wasn't an open bar. So it just took longer. Uh, and you'd assume it'd be like, but like, you know, it wasn't an open bar. So people had to like spend more time, like paying for drinks and shit, you know, like, yo bro, can I try this card? Oh, that one didn't work. All right, cool. Let me, uh, can I use Apple pay on my phone? And they're like, I guess. And it's like, oh, dude, sorry, I forgot my passcode. It just takes like forever. Um, so me and Jenna, we were waiting. Dude, we waited. We waited a half hour for our to just get to the bar, to, to just get drinks. And it was frustrating because all Jenna wanted was champagne and all I wanted was beer. And that's so fucking quick, dude. It's so fast. You go, eh. you go, you go, you go fucking and on the beer you go and then you go here you go Curtis and I go thank you one more please okay it's easy it's fucking so fast dude but the every dude we the party was at like this hoity-toity fucking thing all right people are people were fuck like people had like there are a lot of rich people there okay so they were and like rich people fucking suck like they fucking suck like people who were like rich you know and who like grew up rich and they have they've always been rich. They fucking suck and are so annoying. There's a few rare exceptions, but most of the time, people who are really rich just fucking suck and they don't know how to be they don't know how to be normal in public. Cause these two guys, uh, they're uh, they're in front of us, also waiting. And like me and Jen are complaining to each other, which is you know, but they're like can you believe this? What the hell is going on? This thing I just want to get my drink. Like they're freaking out the whole time. Loudly freaking out. Making it everybody else's problem. And it's like, yeah, dude, we're all waiting for drinks. It's fine. Um, and then when the bartender finally gets to these two fucking guys, also, yo, both wearing suits, relax. Okay? It's 11.30 p.m. It's New Year's. You're wearing a suit. Okay, dude, relax. You need to fucking oh, dress. You got to dress for the year you want, not the year you have, you know, relax, dude. You got a fucking party. Loosen up. Okay. Um, so these two guys in suits were yelling and being so annoying. These fuck this fucking guy, this fucking guy gets to the bar and he goes, yeah, bro. Oh my, he's okay. He says, yeah, bro. Can I get four espresso martinis? Uh, you fucking dumbass. You're such a pussy for that, dude. Imagine. Imagine being like, first off, you're like over six feet. Sit down. Okay? Anybody <laughs> anybody over six feet, we get it, dude. We fuck sit down, dude. We can all see you. Okay? Cool. We get it. It's your you're fucking obnoxious. Okay? Sit down, find a chair, and be like the rest of us, okay? <clears throat> and then to order four espresso martinis, which is the most annoying drink to make. Even if you're at a bar, even if you're at a bar with like nobody in it, if you order, if you're the only person in a whole bar to order a espresso martini and it's not busy at all, even the bartender is going to be like, oh my God, seriously. Are you fucking serious, dude? But like having a hundred people there waiting to dude that's wild that's the thing about rich people man they don't fucking think about other people who are behind them who have been waiting for a while also it's just like dude get a beer get a beer and fuck off okay 
Yeah, beer and like a shot or something, dude. But he asked for four espresso martinis, but as shots. And then, and then they, and then they, okay. And then after that, they all ordered like old fashions and Manhattans. Dude, you're, you all suck. Everybody sucks, man. Not to be like, not to be like an elitist or anything, but like, I'm, I'm like, God, fuck. I'm so much better than that, than those people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cause I order, I order beer like a regular person. At a bar, dude. Yeah, dude. Can you get four espresso martinis as a shot? As shots, though, not as martinis. Even though I said martinis, but I have them as shots, which I didn't know was a real thing. But good thing that you do, uh, because you're a bartender, and it's crazy that you're not punching us in the face right now because of what we just asked you. And oh yeah, also uh, three more annoying drinks right after that. I was really upset, but uh, got my two beers, fucking scald one, and then um, and then we had a good night, man. It's really that simple. Um, yeah, fuck, dude, it was so annoying. Like, just fucking sit down, have a, get a beer, and hang out, you know? (sighs) I just, you know, I just think the world would be so much better if everybody was exactly like me, right? Uh, That's, but that, that, that can't happen. That simply can't happen. But no, man, happy New Year's. It was fun. It was a good time. I got a feeling that 2024 is going to be lit. A litty. 2024 2024 is going to be litty. What are the Black Eyed Peas are up to, dude? What are they up to? They ever take any uh, black-eyed poos? This podcast is never going to get better. <laughs> it's staying shitty. I don't care. Um, no, man, I'm kidding. We're going to put... We got some changes coming to the podcast. Well, not really, but a little bit. It's improvements, okay? We're going to... And I'm trying to get more guests this year, okay? So comment, comment below who you want as a guest. Also... I was thinking the other day also about Black Eyed Peas. I was thinking about them uh, because I had Where Is The... I think I saw a TikTok of Where Is The Love. And I was like... When I first heard that song, I was like, damn. That's actually true. Like, where is the love? Where is it? Right? And the, the, the lyrics still hold up, you know? People killing, people dying. It still happens, man. People die every day. And it, and it should stop. You'd think by now we'd have a cure to that, you know? Children hurt, I hear them crying. But I don't do anything about it. I just fucking walk right by. Yeah, where is the love, man? It's crazy. Here's why I was thinking about that. Because where is the love came out in like, I think 2003, 2004 or something. And they're like, where is the love? We got to start loving each other, man. We got to start, uh, you know sharing love for each other. We got to start, uh, you know, caring for one another, being inclusive. And then like two months later, they came out with a single for their song. Let's get R worded. <laughs> yeah. D- where is the love? Good question. Black eyed peas. Cause it's clearly not coming from you guys. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. I mean, it's a different time, I guess, you know, we, people, People use that word pretty willy nilly back then, but but still, it is it is just crazy that that was their like next single. Where's the love? Let's get you know. And they had to obviously they had to change it to let's get it started. And it's crazy that it took like a, like that long. Like no one in the in the studio was like, "What if we just said let's get it started instead of the other word?" And they're like, "Nah, man, where's the love?" I'm not getting any love from you when you tell me you want to change the lyrics of this song. <laughs> Where's the love, dude? Yeah, it, it's um pretty crazy for them to do that. But hey, man, that was uh, that was 2003 for you. It's crazy that people listen to this podcast that were that there are people that listen to this podcast that 
Well, it's crazy that people that there are people who listen to this podcast, period. But it's crazy that there's people who listen to this podcast that were born in 2003, dude. That's weird. And how old are you, 20? That's even weirder. Whoa, that's fucked. People born in 2003 are 20. Probably, some of them are probably fucking 21 now. Because it's, it's, it's fucking January of 2024. Damn, that's fucked. How long have I been talking? Has this been an hour already? It seems like it's been an hour. I've been yapping for fucking 15 minutes already, dude. Okay, holy shit. Um, I guess let's get into um, this fucking shit. Oh, okay, sorry. One more thing, one more thing. Sorry. 2024 change to this podcast. I want to revamp the advice segment. Okay. Um, I re- I started off doing it pretty regularly. The advice segment, people could send their advice to very, really good at gmail.com. Um, but as the years went on, most of the advice that people sent me was like, and I don't, I'm, I'm just trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to choose my words carefully, but the advice that people were sending me they should have been saying they should be saying that to uh, like a therapist, like like a professional, because there are things that I just don't know how to navigate, and I f- and I as the years go on, I'm realizing like I don't know how to I don't I'm not someone that I I don't I don't feel comfortable with people, um like maybe cho- like basing a, a huge life decision on what I said, uh. Because I don't even, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I, I've never known. I've never claimed to know. But, um, so I want to revamp it, okay? So if you send in an, an advice question, I, I want it to be strictly silly goose times, okay? I want it to be, if you got like a weird, like funny situation you've been in and you need advice or like a crazy, like maybe like a debate between friends that you need someone to weigh in on that's kind of silly, you know? Um... Like I remember one of the first advice segments we did was uh um someone said that they had their roommate had too many spiders. That's fucking funny. That's like super funny. So more shit like that, okay? Um cuz I got one today that that kind of resembles what I'm thinking of for the advice segment going forward, okay? Um this they said, "Hey Curtis, I'm in school and my book bag is way too heavy, but I don't have a locker." My back hurts all the time and it barely ever stops. I also have issues with my knees and my hips, so that just makes it worse. Do you have any advice? Okay, so that's hilarious, okay? That's a silly, harmless question that I don't feel bad about (laughs) advising, okay? Because number one, first thought in my head, get a roller backpack, dude. Get one of those fucking suitcases, okay? Get a a roller backpack, bring them back. Because I haven't seen too many of those these days. I haven't been to school in a while, but... Roller backpacks are really practical, okay? Um, Also, if your book bag is way too heavy, I feel like maybe you could consolidate on some of the books, you know? Usually, you don't get through a whole textbook in a semester, right? Um, So you could just fucking rip out half the pages of each book Cut the weight in half. I mean, there's a 50-50 chance you're probably going to not have the pages you need for your homework, but, I mean, you're taking a gamble already on your health with your back. So, you know, it's got to be a, you got to pick one, right? Um, also, just take a picture of every single page in the textbook, put it into some fucking file or something, and then burn the book, all right? Cook some marshmallows on it, right? You got tons of options, but roller backpack, number one, that should be the, that's actually the answer to, I want that to be the answer to every question. It's like, ah, uh, bam, I, I have too many hats. What do I do with all my hats? And I'm like, well, first of all, I'll get a roller backpack. That's before, before, before you go any further, you should get a roller backpack. Oh, I got another canker sore coming in. Yes. Wahoo! Thank God. Oh, another nightmare of a week ahead of me. Thank God. I didn't like comfortably chewing food anyway. <clears throat> Fuck. <clears throat> <laughs> I 
All right, let's get into some fucking topical shit, dude. Um, first off, let's okay. Let's talk about this shit. Um, so the last episode we talked about uh, the last episode of twenty twenty three, we talked about a re- some really bad wedding vows. Okay, that seems to be like a reoccurring theme on the podcast. Talk about some bad wedding vows, but um. And, you know, I made a video about, uh, you know, how grooms ruin weddings usually. And, um, dude, even before the wedding starts, weird shit can happen. Like, weird-ass stuff that's kind of a side-eye, you know. So, I uh, I found this proposal on TikTok, okay? Um, and proposals, I feel like there's been, like, a weird... With, like, the internet, like, public proposals have really fucking gone, like, like, fucking skyrocketed. And I feel like those are a nightmare. That's, like, a bad idea to do all the time. Like, it's never a good idea. Um, those fucking dudes at the at the New Year's party, they definitely do a public proposal. Because um, it's fucking psycho behavior, dude. Oh, she said yes, bartender. Two espresso martinis, please. And he's like, oh, fuck. Um, but proposals, it's pretty easy, man. And I, because I've done one before, okay? All you got to do is be like, love you so much. I fucking, you know, whatever you want to say, right? Just speak from your heart. And then you get down on one knee and you go, will you marry me? It's fucking easy, man. You don't got to do all this theatrics, dude. You don't have to fucking do a handstand and, like, fart the ring out of your butt or something. You know, you don't have to fucking go, oh, what's that? What's that behind your ear? It's a ring. It's a ring behind your ear. And she's like, is that my earring? Just rip up my earring? What the fuck? He's like, no, 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 no I'm proposing. Um, You know, you don't have to do all these fucking, you don't need to hire a fighter jet to freaking fly by. And, like, parachute a guy out of there and then, like, drop the ring to you. And the jets will spell out, like, your names. You don't have to do be extra about it, okay? Same as gender reveals. Just go to the doctor and be like, what do we got? What are we having? And he goes, boy. And you go, okay, cool. You don't need to fucking fill a watermelon with a bunch of glitter and smash it, right? So, proposal is the same. You don't got to be too crazy, but people go crazy with it. And this is probably the craziest one that I have seen. So, <laughs> this is picture, it's a slideshow. And this girl has, uh, she's showing her ring, right? She's showing the ring off with her new, freshly painted nails in, I think they're a cow design? A cow nail design, like a cow print. And in the background... <laughs> For those who are listening to the audio only, there's a, a guy with his hand around a cow. And on the side of the cow, in red spray paint, on the side of the cow, this guy spray painted a cow. <laughs> and it says, marry me. On the cow, dude. Like, not even a question mark. <laughs> she says, marry me. You will marry me. Yeah, that's smart. If you flip the words around instead of will you marry me and you say you will marry me, you don't give them an option to say no. And that's how you get a wife every time. Dude, a cow that just says marry me, dude. Is the cow proposing? Because that's what I would assume. You walk in and he's like, honey, I got something to show you. You know, you know, we've been together for a uh, for a long time. You know, uh, I can I remember the first time I met you was at the family reunion, and uh, everybody everybody told me you were my cousin, and and, and that seemed just okay with me. So you know, I, we've been together ever since. And uh, I know I, I know I'm a I know I said I never wanted to get married, um, but come come on in. I guess I'm gonna show you in the cow in the cow uh, cow house in the cow uh, cow zone. I don't the cow zone the cows the cow zone. What do they call it on the farm? Where the cows hang out. The cow zone. Yeah, cow zone. The cow zone. Bow zone. But bow round. Okay. And he's like, "Come on, let me bring you to the cow zone." And then she sees the cow, 
that says marry me spray painted on the side. <laughs> and she's like, are you okay with this? <laughs> and he's like, well, yeah, of course. Of course I'm okay with it. And she's like, wow. Sort of making out with, no, never mind. Okay. She starts like, yeah. That's crazy, dude. It's like, I hope it's spray paint. And I hope he didn't just like carve marry me into this cow when that it's, when that's blood. No, it's spray paint. It's spray paint. And what, like, is this a cow that they're going to like eat after to celebrate? Or it's just like a, uh, <laughs> in the caption, dude, don't settle for less girls. Don't settle for less. All right, get get you a cow that can do both. That's crazy, man. Instead of popping champagne, they just fucking got down and <laughs> suck, start sucking on the other cow's udders. I'm so happy. <laughs> That's so gross. Some bartenders like two espresso martinis, and they're like, "No, thank you. We're covered." <laughs> Sucking on a on a cow's udder, dude. That's disgusting. Sorry. <clears throat> I mean, look, they're happy. You know, they're 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 uh, they're they're happy with it. They can, uh, you know, I'm sure they're both excited to uh, to, to to fucking uh, move on to the next chapter of their relationship. Thank you. That was fucking stupid. Yeah. Don't settle for less, girls. Get you a man that will fucking tag a cow. <laughs> Do some fucking... Get hire... Actually, you know what? A real man would have hired Banksy to do this shit. Put a Banksy on the side of a cow, dude. It's fucked up. Men are trash, dude. But apparently, I think I went to this girl's, uh, so apparently I've never been on live TV before. So I went on this, to this girl's fucking TikTok, and I think she works with cows. So she's like a cow. She's a cowgirl, right? Certified cowgirl. Yeah, so it's just like, it's her going around milking these fucking cows. Um, okay, yeah, she fucks, she fucks with cows, like heavy. And that's her job. It's crazy. Like, that's like if you're a... Uh, that's like if you're fucking... Like, if, you're, if your wife was a, was a dentist... And then, like, you got home, and then, like, to propose, they just, like, got grills that said, like, marry me. It's like, look, you love this shit. (laughs) Actually, that'd be pretty sick. That'd be fucking, that'd be awesome. Right? Yeah, or, or what if, or, like, if you had, like, if your, if your wife was, like, a, I don't know, like, a doctor or something so when you to propose like to to your uh your wife you got like a really sick person and you just like spray paint it on their head (laughs) like fucking marry me like wow that's so nice don't settle for less girls get you a man that will spray paint a sick guy (laughs) that's crazy dude oh I mean, look, I'm I'm being a hater. Sorry. They're That's great. They're going to have an awesome wedding. You know, they're going to drink tons of milk, eat lots of cheese, you know, butter, right? It's going to be it's going to be it's going to be lit. So I'm happy for them. But I am in Sorry. Sorry for this one, but I'm in utter shock by the fucking spray paint, dude. And no question mark. Like, you have no choice. If I got home and there was a cow on my lawn, 
just like chilling and it, on the side it was spray painted and it said like uh i don't know I don't know. It's like rip, uh, punch yourself in the balls. If that's if a cow said that, if like if on the side of a cow said punch yourself in the balls, and it was just on my lawn, I'd be like, okay, no problem. I don't know who put this here or who did that, but I will. I know when to uh, uh, adhere to 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 an order. Okay, put anything on a cow, and that's you know, and that's uh, and that and that'll do it, right? Just find a cow and spray paint it like world peace, no more wars, you know, and we're good. Right? Where is the love, man? <laughs> there it is right here. It's on this fucking cow. <laughs> spray paint a cow. Where is the love? <laughs> Dude, that's insane. Literally. Because you, it, there's no shot if you got home and there was a cow on your property and on the side of it, it said, you know, like, what's a crazy fucking thing that you would never do? Like, I don't know, like, literally, like, dive through a fucking, like, like I don't know, dive through your front window instead of going through the door. I'd be like, okay, yeah, yeah, no problem. Tech, like, text your dad, tell him you're gay, even though you're not. And you're like, okay, sure. I just I don't want any more trouble. I don't want any more cows on my fucking lawn, okay? I'll do whatever you want. So there's a good lesson for you guys. If you want something fucking done in your life, if you want some real change to happen, spray paint a cow, dude. You should have a cow. And spray paint it. Don't settle for less, girls. Oh man, crazy proposal, dude! But I love it. It's in, it's in, it's a, it's inventive for sure, dude. My pit stains are out of control, dude. They're they're on, they're they're uh they're working overtime. Working overtime. You got a lot of things that you gotta do. Working overtime. Yeah. Okay. Crazy. Let's change the subject really quick. Okay. This uh this next video was fucking crazy, dude. As soon as I saw it, I was like, this is podcast material, dude. This is pod This is pod worthy. Okay. Um Okay, let's read the uh, uh let's read the article. Actually, no, let's, let's watch the video first because we got an update. Um, uh, fuck. He's not burping. So this was a dude. This happened in a court in Las Vegas. Okay, not a basketball court. Sorry, should specify. Um, it wasn't a badminton court or a tennis court or, a, you know, a court. Uh, Courtney, it wasn't Courtney Cox or anything. This was, um, this happened in a court of law in Vegas, which fucking, of course, like, of course they did. Crazy shit probably happens in Vegas, but, um, wh- this guy was getting, like, sentenced, and this is what happened. Warning graphic content. I hope I don't get demonetized. But I figured that not if I'm gonna be- well, let me see if I can get closed captions. But I figured that. I'm in a better place in my life. I'm not doing drugs. I'm not, you know, I'm not out there committing crimes now. You know, and... Okay, he says, I'm not out there doing drugs. I'm not out there committing I'm crimes now. No. Hey. Oh, 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 I oh, 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 oh. So, yeah, he's like saying... Like I'm in a better place now. I'm not doing any drugs. I'm on the I'm on the straight and narrow. I'm on the up and up. And then like like fucking two seconds later. Yells some fucking obscenity at the judge and then 
fucking dive tackles over the judge's <laughs> desk and just starts wailing on her. Fucking insane video, dude. Crazy. And like, I don't, uh, I don't, you know, I don't really know what he was in. Uh, I don't know what he was being sentenced for. I don't know what crimes he was being charged with or whatever. I don't know the details. Um, but whatever crime he did commit, I I think he's guilty. I just that's just the vibes I'm getting. Cause uh, <laughs> I think if you're the if you're gonna dive tackle a judge, whatever crime you did commit, even if you didn't do it, you did it. Because you, it's pretty, you know. I, I think only a a criminal would do something like that. I saw a lot of TikToks of being like <laughs> POV, like uh, before you you just got a sentence from a judge and you want to give them a hug or something, and that was that. Uh, that was that video. Um. Dude, so crazy to take a leaping dive. Like, what did he think that was going to do? Dude, and this guy's face on the right. Whoa! Also, it took, like, I mean, props to everybody who was, like, just fucking punching him to get him off. But, like, took way too long for the bailiffs to get over there and, like, subdue him. Like, it took way too fucking long. It took, like, 20 seconds. What are you there for? Fucking crazy video. Solid tackle, though. I'll give him that. Solid tackle. Good form. Some NFL scout is watching this video like, oh, damn. <laughs> Could use a guy like that on the squad. He gets a call in jail. And it's like, oh, whenever, whenever you're out, to fucking in 20 years. It was only going to be a, like a two-year sentence, but you fucking you fucked yourself like crazy by doing that. Um, but whenever you're on 20 years, you, you, you got a spot on the team. Crazy tackle, dude. Like flew through the air, dude. Fucking wild. Okay, so we got an update too. <clears throat> man who leapt over bench to attack judge in viral video will face her again today. Rematch! <laughs> Fucking ding, ding, ding! Rematch! Fight to the death. The Nevada defendant who went viral after video emerged of his violent courtroom attack of a... And I'm sorry for joking about this, but um, I think she's okay because she's facing her again. So he's she's chilling. Well, she's not chilling, but she's, you know, she's able to work still. Uh, the Nevada defendant who went viral after video emerged of his violent courtroom attack of a Las Vegas judge will face her in court again Monday to be sentenced to on his original charges. It's going to be tough for her to be unbiased. You know? It's going to be tough to her to look at this objectively because she got fucking tackled by this guy. And now also faces new charges of extortion, coercion with force, and battery on a protected person. Uh, Deborah Redden had just finished telling Judge Mary K. Halthus of the Clark County District Court that his violent past was behind him. <laughs> I don't think so, man. Doesn't seem like it at all. My violent past is behind me, but my violent present, it's right here. It's ready to go. His violent past was behind him at a January 3rd hearing when she made it clear she still intended to sentence him to prison time on charges of attempted battery. Um, as a court martial moved to handcuff Redden and take him into custody, he started shouting and ran toward the judge's bench video shows, leaping over her desk and tackling her to the ground as others in the court screamed. Uh, the video shows Halt is falling against the courtroom's back wall as her clerk and several court and jail officers wrestled Redden off of her with one marshal sustaining a dislocated shoulder and head injury that caused him to be hospitalized. Damn, dude. Halt uh, has had minor injuries but was back at work the next day. Um, so Redden, who was out of custody while awaiting sentencing, was re-jailed on $54,000 bail on charges stemming from the attack and then refused, oops, and then refused to appear in court Thursday to face the new charges. 
Monday will mark the first time Redden is back in court since the attack, and that's supposed to happen today. Dude, fucking crazy. Uh, I'm just going to search Vegas Tackle and see what a... Uh, Yeah, there's no update. Um, dude, fucking crazy. To tackle a judge is like... I mean, it takes a lot of balls. I'll give him that. It takes a lot of balls to do that. But like, dude, fuck, you're, that's like the last person you should tackle. I would tackle myself before that. <clears throat> and it's like... <laughs> you're just like... You're sewering yourself for any sort of like future bail or like good behavior. Cause that's bad behavior for sure. Um, and I, obviously I know the, you know, the justice, the criminal justice system is extremely flawed, but you know, don't fucking tackle a judge, dude. That is wild. It'd be really funny if like, could you imagine if that happened and he just like, he like misunderstood the judge or something. She was like, uh, <laughs> she's like, he's like, no, fuck, what the fuck, dude? I, I, I can't believe this. And he fucking tackles a judge, punching her and stuff. And she's like, I said you were free to go. And he's like, I thought you meant free to go to jail. Oh, gosh, this is awkward. This is awkward. I straight up thought you meant I was free to go to jail. I thought I thought when you said you're a free man, I thought you were sending me to a facility called the Free Man Community uh, Correction Facility. I was I was out of line. Okay, let me get you up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope this doesn't change your opinion of me. <laughs> I hope this uh I hope I'm still free to go. My bad. Look, my bad. I was at a line. Let's uh let's let's rewind. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, it's to do a jump tackle like that, I cannot believe. That's what the bartender should have done to those guys at the fucking New Year's party. He, he should have jumped, jump tackled over the bar and tackled them when the words espresso martini came out of their mouth. Maybe that's what happened. The judge was like, I need a, an es- can I get an espresso martini? And he was like, he was a bartender and he was like, oh, yeah, come on. We're busy. It's a busy night. It's Friday night. Fuck. Crazy video, dude. Don't tackle judges, okay? Unless a cow. If I came home and a cow was on my lawn and it's spray painted tackle a, tackle a judge right now, I would do it. That's the only circumstance. I'd be like, okay, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. Cow. I'll go do that. Uh, you know, tr- uh, truth, or, truth or dairy. <laughs> go tackle a judge. Okay. Hmm. What fucking time is it? How how long have I been yapping for? 43? That's a good place to leave it off. We're at 40 something. Folks, thank you so much for tuning into this episode. This was a very fun one. I had a good time. Hope you guys had a good time as well. Um, if you want more podcast, go check out the very, really good Patreon. Shout out to everybody, all the new people over there. We had a lot uh come over from the last episode. So I appreciate that. And uh yeah, we do uh bonus episodes all the fucking time. There's like fucking tons of them over there that you get access to immediately and um yeah it's more chill over there get a little more personal i don't know it's whatever it's fucking stupid but thank you so much for the support seriously can't wait for another great year of uh of uh bullshit and farting around and having a having a having a laugh having a good laugh with your, with your mates all right thank you so much appreciate you guys uh, and i'll see some of you over on the bonus episode Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Baby, baby, baby.